What's up guys? We are going from the computer to the kitchen. Are you ready? Are you ready? I need it on me. There we go. Alright, we're going to grab our drink. I'm going to move my stuff out of the way. So you can see what I'm doing. We're going to move this. And we're going to move this. And this. So you can see what I'm doing. Turn the lights on. Grab my mount. If I can do this without it screwing up or falling. Very bad connection. This phone case is huge. So, I apologize. Alright. So, we're going to set you here. Okay, so we have our stuff already. I'm going to put that in the sink. So I'm going to wait just a couple minutes. If anybody is going to come on, I will wait. So I was out at Jordan Lake yesterday, and it was absolutely fire. I'm going to turn that light off. And I caught quite a few fish and I've got them all wrapped up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop them in the oven and cook them but what I'm going to do is I'm going to unwrap them. This one, I made sure to wrap them up very, very well. And I soaked them in milk for about an hour, hour and 20 minutes. And then I wrapped them up like so and put them in the fridge. Check it out. make sure you can see here so I have my let me get you straight here let me get you straight here I got my fish and I wrap them up individually fillets I wanted them to stay apart. Beautiful. Look at these fillets. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? These beautiful fillets. There's one. There's two. There's three. And you know what? There's no fishy smell whatsoever. When you go to... An establishment and the fish smells it has a funny smell to it do not eat it fish is not supposed to stink fish is supposed to be nice and and white meat and look and taste and not smell it's supposed to look and, and and taste good and not smell if it has a fishy smell don't do not eat it Okay, so we are going to do largemouth three different ways. I'm going to grab a pan and give me one quick second.
So we have our pan. I'm going to move these so you can see what I'm doing. Alrighty. So we have our fish. We have our pan. It's got some little crumbs on it, but it's all good. All right, aluminum foil. We have our aluminum foil, okay? Now, First way, we are going to grab a bowl. We're gonna grab a bowl, okay? So we got a bowl, and we're going to take two fillets, drizzle some extra virgin olive oil in there, coat the fish with the olive oil. So we have one fillet two fillets. We're just going to get them all olive oiled up. Nice. Sweet. Okay, so olive oil. A little bit of Mediterranean sea salt. We want to do both sides. Okay. Okay. Now, Cavender's Greek seasoning. You can do both sides if you want to. Okay. So we have Cavender's fillets with olive oil. That's one way. Very simple, very easy, did not take a lot of time at all. So next. We are going to do, so I have our olive oil, our cavenders still in there, that's okay. So I'm going to get some this is called the gospel all-purpose barbecue rub. So we're gonna add our Salt. There's still olive oil in the bottom, and it's okay that that Cavendish is getting on there. It's just going to add more flavor. Salt. Now we're going to add our gospel all purpose barbecue rub. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. Can you? I can't wait to eat this. Mm-hmm. All right. And I'll drizzle a little bit more olive oil. Get it on it. You know the deal. There we go. No frying. Sorry, all, but anyone can fry a fish. All right. Two more fillets. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, we got two more. What is next, you say? We're gonna rinse out our bowl. Put it all back together again. 
Now that that's clean, we're going to throw these away. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? We are going to do some more EVOO. Last two fillets. Gonna get them all oiled up here. Salt. You know the deal. Salt, salt. And we have our oven preheated to 400 degrees. This is not gonna take long at all for this to cook. gonna do a you know what I'm gonna switch I want to do coconut lime seasoning tones the stuff is the jam got a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes give it some heat mm-hmm you can put as little as you want. You can put as much as you want because it is your food. I like to eat healthy, but I am not afraid of the spices. So, all right. So, our oven is preheated. So, what we're going to do next. I have homemade garlic basil butter homemade legitimately homemade in wax paper in the freezer so i'm gonna unwrap this beautiful butter and we are gonna cut it i'm gonna cut the end off there because we want to get to the butter and we are going to put little tiny tiny dollops of butter all up in that pan are you are you ready are you ready i am ready i've been thinking about this all night long and all day today all right so we have our butter Nice. You can, you can put it wherever you want. Put it all over the bottom of the pan. This is really, really easy to make. Just get some garlic, put it in a ninja. Get some roll butter. If you're in the south, they have it at Food Lion. Yeah, I got some on the floor, but it's all good. Um, Food Lion has it. It's called Roll Butter. It's like eight bucks for like two pounds. Two pounds of butter. Obviously, you're not going to eat two pounds of butter at once. So you can make it last. Cut that that way. And we'll cut it in half. All right. Put one there. And then we'll put one there and once that butter melts y'all this is gonna be beautiful beautiful you know what I still got one piece right here so we'll cut it Put it wherever you want to put you can even put it on top of the fish however you want to do it this is your food so you do it however you want to do it those are good and now we're gonna grab some fresh 
kind. Not 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 that kind, but thyme. It's a, it's a herb, yummy. Thyme. Just picked it up. Giving a nice earthy flavor, smell. The smell is awesome. It's good for you. Boom. 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 Mm-hmm. You can even put the stems in there. Doesn't matter. Time and fish are one of my favorite get-togethers. Mix it merry and flavorful and lovely. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll do one more there, another one here. Fresh herbs and fish, you cannot go wrong. I'll just throw it in there wherever. Doesn't have to be perfect. All that matters is what, what happens when it comes out on the plate. Chow time. I'm going to put this in the oven 400 degrees until it's done. And then I'm going to post a picture on Instagram when it's finished. It's going to be super duper awesome. Thank you for watching, guys.